everyone, it's Gabby, and lately I've been asked quite a bit how to bring over Figma assets into Unreal, and I've done this a couple times, but all the videos turned out <laughs> really boring, so hopefully I can get past this one pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using this menu that I made for Apex, and I'm going to be replacing this button for PNGs that I've created inside of Figma, and I'm going to show you how I like to make them, export them through, and bring them into Unreal. Now, before I get started, I wanted to say that in here, there are times where using PNGs over creating them um, by hand inside of the details panel, sometimes a PNG is going to be more efficient than this. So if we look at this image right here, these three images of these character icons, this is going to be something that you are going to want to use PNGs for, and they can uh, flip through depending on the actions that you give them. But when it comes to buttons, you can use PNGs, and sometimes that works out really well. But sometimes if they're pretty basic like this, they have a border, um, they have a little bit of an opacity and a text on the inside, it may just be easier for you to make it in engine. And a quick example of that is you make this menu, you send it off to uh, your art director, they play through it, they say it looks really great, but this button right here, they want the tint, so if I go and play, they want this tint to be uh, purple when you hover over it. Now, if this was a PNG, you would have to go back into Figma, create that hover state, you have to edit it, make it purple, export it back out, bring it in, and apply it to the image right here inside of hovered. But if you make it inside of Unreal, you can just select the tint, you can go to purple, assign it, go back in, and there we go, the button's purple. So before you run and make everything PNGs, just assess your UI and see can it be made easily inside of the engine, and if not, um, then go ahead and go to Figma. So let's say we want to make these buttons, we want them to be PNGs because it's just going to be too difficult to manipulate the style inside of details. Um, so okay, let's go inside of Figma. So I'm going to grab a square. Now Unreal has a few states. Let's go over them real quick. I'm going to hold shift, close style, and then open style back up, and that's just going to collapse everything. We have normal, hovered, and pressed. Those are three states that we're going to create. You can create disabled, and the rest of these are for a little more complex tasks, but right now we're just going to handle these three. So because we have three states we're working with, we're going to create three boxes inside of Figma. Okay. Now, in our button, we had a corner roll on the W and Z axis, so let's go and create some corner rolls. We're going to select all three. So we can do this at the same time. Go up here, select this little bracket looking thing, and let's set these to 30 each. And the width of these are a kind of a weird number, so let's round those out to 1,000, and the height of these are an odd number, and let's round that out to 200. Um, let's do these corner rolls at 45. And let's bring this down to 150. Okay? These look a little more like our shape that we have. Now, in our image, we have a tint that is white, and we have lowered the opacity, and we have an outline stroke. So let's go ahead and lower that fill down to about 20%. And we're going to create a stroke, and the stroke is going to be maybe 10, and we're going to make it white. Kind of looks right, okay? So remember our task, our art director said they wanted hovered in purple. So let's first go ahead and label all these buttons. So this rectangle one is going to be called normal. This one is going to be called hovered. And this one is pressed. Okay, you want to make sure you label these. And let's actually grab them all and select this create component. 
And that's just going to create the component for you. And that's just creating your states in Figma. So then when you come back to Figma later and you're doing maybe mockups in here, it'll be a little more um, organized. So back to our normal button. Now in here we did have a one, but that can be handled through text and it will um, manipulate correctly when this uh, vertical box uh, changes in size. So we're not going to stamp a one actually inside of our image. We're gonna leave that outside the button. Okay, so that doesn't stay. But remember our task, this needs to be purple. So let's go make it purple. Um, let's see, about right there. And pressed, just so it can look different, let's increase the opacity here to 70%. All right, almost looking like LSU colors. So we're going to select all of these and export them out. And you can see down here it says export three layers. And we're gonna do it in PNG. Now, if you were to select component, and pressed export, you're exporting the component one, which is going to be exported as a PNG. Um, you don't want it like that. You want to export them individually, so you can use them as such. So let's go ahead and export these. Gonna go to desktop and just throw them in there. Okay, I'm gonna find them, they're right here. I'm gonna open up my content drawer and I'm going to grab these. And grab that one. Okay, now, so I don't get confused inside of here, this one can be deleted. This one can be deleted. These are just old ones that I have that I don't need that are just going to, um, confuse me. Okay, so we have pressed, normal, and then we still need to bring in our hovered. Maybe I accidentally deleted that one. Okay. So right now, the button has no image and we're manipulating the color and the outline settings inside of details. So I'm gonna drop the width of the outline setting to zero because we don't need outlines. And I also am going to draw as an image and we're going to call normal underscore. Was it this one? Let's see, let me check the name real quick. Possibly. No, it was this one. Okay, great. And the tint right now is set to 15. We wanna make sure we set that to 100. And now let's go back in here and let's open up our hovered state. And we wanna grab hovered right here. We're gonna set our tint to white because we don't want any color uh, interfering with the image and we're gonna set our alpha to 100. Make sure it shows bright. And we wanna make sure our outline is set to zero. And we wanna draw as an image. And then in pressed, we are going to do the same thing. Grab that image we just put in here. Make sure our tint is up in white and to 100 and we draw as an image. Now, if I'm correct, this should work like these buttons that I've made. It should work the same way. So let's go ahead and give it a try. And there we go. And when I press it, works out. And see, so if I needed to make changes in this one, I would make changes inside of details. And if I made changes here, I would go through Figma and make the changes and bring them in and repeat that same process. So that is how I would bring in Figma images personally into Unreal. Uh, it's an easy pipeline. And uh, if you have any questions or you um, have any suggestions on how to change up that pipeline, just let me know. I'm open to all suggestions and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.